Hey Tom, yeah, and what a what a humble move to call Tampa Tampa. What a jerk. You know, I'm gonna, <laughs> what, a, what, a humble, what a humble thing to do, Tom. As soon as he lands there. Tom, what do you think about Tampa Bay? <laughs> Talking about Tampa. <laughs> You know, I'd say everyone's pretty cool now, right? With the city being named after TB12. We all remember that Kevin Hart troll of his buddy Tom Brady last April. That was for last year's NFL Draft Telethon fundraiser, which was there to raise money for COVID-19 relief. This year's draft's going to feel a lot more familiar. Commissioner hugs are back, fans are too, and prospects will be in Cleveland hoping to hear their names called. Jacob Harris won't be there, but he'll be watching. Our new 10 Tampa Bay sports director, Evan Klosky, got to spend some time with the Palm Harbor native and UCF tight end this week. Much like Brady, Harris hopes to parlay a draft day steal into stardom. For Palm Harbor native Jacob Harris, there are two things he is not afraid of. I haven't had a break, so <laughs> well, that's what I love doing. Working hard and uncertainty. I can't say that I have talked with at least every team once. The UCF product is projected to be a day three selection in the NFL draft. The trifecta touchdown for Jacob Harris. Could be a receiver, could also be a tight end. First and foremost, you know, I've barely scratched the surface of my potential. Good, all right. His high school coach, Reggie Kroon. Here we go. Who is now at Calvary Christian? Come on. Understands the promise and intrigue surrounding his former player's projection. Uh, you know he's a kid who, who is a sleeper because he he's not one of those, uh, you know, guys who's come in as a three or four or five star, you know, out of high school who's on people's radar. The first time Harris stepped on a football field, he knew he wanted to play this sport at the next level. The only problem was he pursued the sport really late. I mean, really late. I was like muscle memory. <laughs> I was verbally committed um, to Florida Gulf Coast for a week for soccer before, you know, I realized I made the wrong decision and decommitted. This is not only a personal risk, but a financial risk for his family turning down a free ride. Not as much of a tough decision for me as it was, you know, my mom. <laughs> we had a real talk, you know, of how long can I, you know, pursue football when it's, you know, costing, you know, a lot of money. After a quick stint at Western Kentucky, he found a home with the Knights. After grinding on special teams, he eventually earned that scholarship anyway. Oh yeah, that was just like a, like a weight lifted off our shoulders. There is no fear of the future. Just a man who knows a good risk can pay off. If it's something that you know has, you have passion in or has piqued your interest, you'll regret it if you don't pursue it.